Uh, this one here, as you see, is called uh, Pillow's Mark. Then the second one's going to be called Ali Sai, which is actually Italian for trade wind. And um, these, uh, what's interesting about this is I really felt compelled to create these pieces. Um, I had a chance to uh, uh, take an overnight trip on a sailboat, and um, I had a very vivid dream, um, kind of like a dream on top of dreams. And uh, the idea of making this artwork and having it look the way it does actually came to me in these dreams. And there's a little bit of a story behind it, and I'll share that with you. It's going to show you a whole series of photographs of the uh, process of me actually putting this dream on paper. This is a cardstock here. It's like a heavy cardstock, and um, it's actually spray paint uh, that I used to uh, make it with. Uh, it's kind of crude, but uh, I think it had a very good result. And we started off with a blank piece of paper, kind of a metaphor for life. We know we all start off with a blank piece of paper, and uh, we create our own personal masterpieces from there in life and in art. And uh, lay down a good primer for it. And it's uh, really interesting you see this develop, because you know rarely is it that you can actually see what a dream looks like. And that's what I think I've been able to create here. Uh, this one, Pillow's Mark, you know, kind of started to get some of the shapes in order and uh, some of the colors that, uh, that I was experiencing. And um, I think it did a good job of uh, really portraying this. Somebody told me that they actually I felt that this, uh, this pattern, the end result, matched their furniture. They said they looked at it and they said that would look great with my couch. It kind of matches the pattern. And somebody else told me that they actually saw the face of Jesus in this picture. Um, I find that interesting, you know, divine, divine inspiration. But um, it was a good product, and I'm kind of proud of it. And hopefully somebody will bid on it. Here it is here, final works. Got a good border. Got to lay down a good border, you know. So you got a blank piece of paper, and um, got to set your border, your boundaries, and what you're going to do your work in. I guess uh, kind of a bit of a metaphor for life also. Got to know your boundaries. Got to know the area you can work in. Uh, this one here actually starts off with a uh, a red base, kind of real intense with a dark. Um, this one here, it, it first came to me in a vision of, of uh, a woods, like a wooded area. It's kind of interesting that I would have a dream about the woods while sleeping on a sailboat out in the uh, Caribbean. Uh, but this was never the case. Um, created some of the uh, orangey uh, ground that you have with the woods and a real intense kind of uh, misty background. Uh, some of the shadows created an interesting effect. But uh, after I started to lay down some of the paint, you had uh, like a ghostly image that came over uh, the woods uh, in here with the uh, the sticks that I portrayed with it. And um, I kind of like it, the end result. But then I started to have the, the shapes come into play. And you can see what the end result of that is as well here coming up. Well, I enjoyed doing this. And uh, if uh, you like this artwork, you can bid on it. The USA, uh, eBay, under... Uh, greatly appreciate it. Maybe you'll add this uh, above your couch. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Bye now.